The shocking death of a three-year-old boy. Three-year-old boy loses his life during sleep. Weeks later, doctors make a shocking discovery. In 2016, Brian Andrew Jasmine's three-year-old son contracted chickenpox besides the mild neck pain and inflammation. Brian did not exhibit any severe symptoms. Jasmine, 23 years old at the time, decided to take the boy and his brother Austin to their grandmother's house. The last thing Jasmine wanted was for Yvonne their youngest baby to contract the disease. Austin had been diagnosed with chickenpox before, but he was able to shake it off without any serious complications. So Jasmine assumed that the same sequence would reoccur with Brian Andrew. Unfortunately the situation got out of hand and the boy lost his life during sleep weeks later doctors made a shocking discovery and now Jasmine wants the entire world to know. For Jasmine and her 21-year-old spouse, Josh's life was fulfilling. Blessed with three beautiful children, the future looked bright and full of adventure. However, the loss of Brian brought their entire world crashing down. Chickenpox is considered to be a normal illness in young children, so Brian's condition seemed like a minor blip man. He was expected to recover soon. Jasmine's decision to leave Brian and his older sibling, Austin, at their grandmother's place, was intended to prevent Yvonne, her youngest son from contracting the disease. However, the next morning Brian's mother was informed that her young boy didn't wake up. The grandmother had tried in vain to wake up Brian. Jasmine's first reaction was to quickly call the paramedics. The paramedics got to the scene as fast as possible, but it was too late. Brian had already lost his life during sleep. The parents were perplexed. Jasmine disclosed to the Daily Mail that Brian was full of energy. He was happy. Laughing and running around the day before. Why the boy suddenly died was a complete mystery to them. The mother clearly recalls the last words her little boy uttered to her. I love you mom. The loss of Brian was a big blow to Jasmine's family. They struggled to understand how Brian suddenly died without exhibiting any serious symptoms. However, three weeks later, they were finally able to understand what caused Andrew's demise. The doctor's autopsy report revealed that Brian had contracted a rare and aggressive variation of septicemia through Staphylococcus septicemia. is a condition that occurs when a bacterial infection from a portion of skin, lung or other body part enters the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, the bacteria and their toxins can be carried to your entire body, further aggravating your health condition, except asthma is a life-threatening condition and must be treated in a hospital prevention, early diagnosis, and treatment of sepsis are the best ways to counter sepsis and the problems it causes. Early symptoms of sepsis may include breathing problems, patches of discolored skin, decreased urination, low platelet count, and changes in mental ability. However, these symptoms are not easy to detect, especially among small children. According to health experts, people with mild sepsis can recover if the condition is detected and treated early. However, there is a 50% mortality rate for people with severe sepsis that is not detected early. The most common form of staph infection is the boil. Boils are essentially a pocket of pus that develops around hair follicles or oil glands. When the boils are burst open, they drain the pus, leaving openings that provide entry for bacteria and toxins. So how did Brian get the infection? The boy contracted sepsis by scratching his chickenpox blisters. Chickenpox is a highly contagious viral infection that does cause itchy blister-like rashes on the patient's skin. The rash can appear in the form of blisters, red bumps, and scabs, scratching and scraping at those blisters leaves the skin vulnerable to bacterial infections, which in turn enter the bloodstream, leading to a condition known as blood poisoning. Since Brian was so small, his body was unable to put up a strong resistance. And the condition morphed into sepsis, Jasmine's. Only solace was that her son died peacefully in his sleep with no pain. Unfortunately for Jasmine, things soon took a turn for the worse while still mourning the loss of her son. Jasmine soon discovered that she was 10 weeks pregnant due to the stress and discomfort she was going through at the time she suffered a miscarriage. 
She only found out about her condition after a terrible stomach ache. She lost nearly 70% of blood in her body. Nurses were amazed at how she survived, but she believes Brian was watching over her. Jasmine now wants to raise an alarm about the unknown. Dangers of chickenpox. She encourages parents to pay more attention to the disease, an initiative she believes will save the lives of many children around the globe in the future.